like I said, came out with a lot of energy, and then it helps, you know, when guys are hitting shots. Uh, you know, Kuz came out strong and um, definitely, you know, uplifted us. And um, like I said, we needed that start. You've spent a lot of time with Kuz because you guys are in the same rookie class. Where did that come from? You ever see him go off like that? Um, you know, for what he does this year, he's very capable. But um, tonight, he definitely, you know, put all the all his skills on performance tonight. Um, he can score from every level, and his size definitely helps him a lot. And um, when he's knocking the free ball down, you know, it's hard to stop. He did. He called his own shot. Definitely called it. Uh, game, you know, he, he came uh, shooting around very energetic today. He was ready to play for the start. What was he telling you guys during the game? Um, just stay focused, stay locked in, and you know, keep competing. You know, that's all you can ask for. You know, with a young team like this, just go out there and play as hard as you can. All right, someone tell me why every time I watch the Lakers play. Okay, I, let's just be honest. Okay, I want to just be honest real quick. Okay, listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying here because I really mean this. How come when I watch the Lakers play, bro, I'm seriously, I'm watching these dudes play. Why does Lonzo Ball only score like four points every game? Now today, he did a little better than normal. You know, oh, he did somewhat better than normal. But like, you know, the past couple of games, dude, it's been under 10 points. And I realize Lonzo's not a score first guy. I know someone in the comment section is going to be telling me, man, Lonzo Ball, he ain't even about that scoring, though. No, I know. I, I realize that. But, like, the Lakers need someone that can score. Kyle Kuzma can score. Isaiah Thomas can score. You know, Julius Randle can score, too. But, like, the Lakers kind of need that other guy in order to win these games. Like, some of the games they lost this year, they lost by 5 points, 10 points. They lost a lot of close games. And... You know, they're playing these close games, and it's like, you know, I mean, they would have won if they had had someone else on the team that could score more than three points. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Lonzo Ball, okay? You know, he seems like a good guy, and he's not his dad. I don't look at what his dad says because that don't, that don't matter. You know, I look at what he does on the court. I look at what he says to reporters and, you know, how he talks to fans. He seems like a good guy, and I do wish him the best because I actually like the way he interacts with everybody. But at the same time, I don't think... He was all that he was hyped up to be because I'm telling y'all, dude, I'm telling y'all right now, over the summer, I asked you guys, I said, how many points per game is Lonzo Ball going to average? And most people said over 20 for sure. What? 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 Over 20 points? When? Where? You know, like, is that like three games in a row combined? What? That is crazy, bro. No. I realize, like I said, he's pass first, dude. He has that pass first mentality. He's not a scorer, but like most Lakers fans coming into this uh, season thought he was a scorer. They thought that Lonzo was going to be putting up these big points. And Lonzo's never really been that guy. So, yeah, I don't know, dude. I think that's why some people don't like Lonzo. It's because coming into the league, everybody thought, you know, he was going to be scoring 20 plus points a game. And that's not what happened. So anyways, man, you guys seen the Snapchat picture up in the thumbnail of this video so that's actually a rumor going around now i i, sw I swore i see that picture before where it was just like him hanging out with his bros or whatever so in that picture it shows lonzo ball and the caption is something about lebron james heading to la now this is a big rumor going around that you know lebron james is going to go to la lebron's going to be playing with lonzo but lonzo never confirmed that lebron never confirmed that the Lakers had coach and staffing and everybody on the Lakers, including Magic Johnson, never confirmed LeBron James to that team. So that's what leads me to believe this rumor is not true, because if this rumor was true, you wouldn't have that issue. So I don't think this rumor is true because I don't believe, well, I do think LeBron's probably going to go to the Lakers, but I don't believe he'd announce anything with the postseason so close. You know, postseason's coming up. I feel like LeBron James, yeah, he ain't going to announce anything, dude. So yeah, I feel like this rumor is not true. Just wanted to talk about it in today's video because I wanted to know what you guys think of LeBron James potentially heading to the Lakers. So anyways, guys, that is all I got for today's video. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. And that's all I got for today. Stay fresh. I'm out. Peace.